Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting from to episode 9 of Yamanakun. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Come from it. <laughs> right. <laughs> But, you know, that's like a couple -y thing to do. Like, oh, so cute. Oh, my God. Even though they're not a couple yet, they still got couple moments. <laughs> Once again, like, freaking Sora and Mashiro. Because they get so many cute, adorable moments. And you're like, bruh, will you finally address? That you're meant to be with you with each other like oh my god because i mean seriously mashiro and sora have technically acknowledged that because they're like no you're just you're my precious friend and then i'm over here like i don't see friend i see wife so uh, and i'm not saying these two need to get married like asap but still boyfriend cover yes uh-huh <laughs> Oh, and he's waiting too, but guys, you know. No, but it's different when it comes to you. Right? Aww. Mm-hmm. Oh, but come on. It's just a sweet gesture. Just take it. But you like him, though. Is that bad luck? We can't just put the other fucking colds.
that feeling, babe. I know it all too well. Of course. Pretty. I like it. I want it. Damn, I kind of want my nails on. Like, Mom. What's wrong? Don't buy yourself. At least let her walk you home or take you home. Runa, it's gonna be okay. She might be nice. Oh my god. No. Take the cocoa. Mm -hmm. How can you be so sure about that guy? Uh, right? Oh, okay. I know exactly who it is. The girl with the glasses.
I mean, hold up. The half of the whole thing, bro? <laughs> Sorry. They're so pretty. Heck, even though I have McDonald's yesterday, I really want Burger King. I just want to try the freaking Spider Verse Whopper. No, I know. Oh. So they asked me. No. It'd be like that. No. I'm running for the burger. <laughs> oh, no. Good. But you just don't want to. That's okay. Bruh! <laughs> Literally my boss. <laughs> But the fact is that he ain't come, that's a problem!
Oh my god! Oh my god, is he gonna go? Is he gonna go to the house and take care of him? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, baby. Literally, that was me last night after coming home from the movies with a pounding attic. Ugh. And believe me, I wanted to record last night, but... My body and my head was killing me so much after literally watching and being in a cold ass movie theater. Oh, like something tells me Yamada's coming. Baby, you can't go out like that. That would be better. But you're tired. Baby, that is Yamada. Barely.
I can't right now, oh my god, everything is too much. Too many feels, Jesus Christ, oh my god, bruh. My heart right now, oh my god. It, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. If my man don't do that ish, I don't want him. I do not want him if he does not do any of the things my fucking anime characters the freaking guys that I have crushes on, cause, oh. That was everything, oh my god. That was so good, Jesus Christ, that hurt, oh, but it was so nice. The fact that he, like, quickly came after hearing her fall off her bike and everything, and she's like, oh, I can't go by bike. I can't do this. I am really sick. Like, oh, I know that feeling. I know that feeling, Dad. Look at me. They're so beautiful. I want my nails done. Are you drinking a Cosmo? Yes. Poor Momo. Another one, please! No, oh, thank you! I, I mean, but seriously, yes. Like, you know, I'll even say this. Yes, some guys don't want the... <laughs> sexy butterfly. <laughs> Night butterfly type chick. You know, some guys want the glasses girl. Or just, you know... The everyday girl or the girl next door type and such. Because, of course, it's like, yeah. You never, like, most of us, I think, especially, like, I, I think the one thing I would never really do um, is speed dating. I think, you know, it, it's not overrated to me. It, it's just, I, I'm one of those types of chicks that sometimes I, I feel fall in love a little too quickly and I, I can speak for majority of most of us girls who are also like that I think I blame a lot of like mostly the things that I watch and such and like oh my god but then there are times where I am also like well you know what I I, I say fuck love <laughs> and such because it, it's like you know looking at relationships I have been in in the last few years and such and how some of them have treated me and such and then also looking at stuff that I also watch whether this is like anime or anything live action or even reality television shows and how sometimes guys not all guys I'm saying that again some guys no treat their significant other pretty much like crap not all guys are like that. There are some genuinely nice, good guys and such. And so there are times where I, I think majority, even me and my girlfriends, when we're talking about this, sometimes we're like, well, where the fuck is he? <laughs> when the hell is he coming? Like, you know, I am at my time of need and such. You know, I would like to be comforted not only by, like, my girlfriends. Because, yeah, like, when you're around your girlfriends and stuff and you get to talk about things. Or your guy friends. And, you know, hey, you have someone to lean on and such. But when it's, like, your significant other, it's completely different and such. Where you feel like you can just... Even though you can go to, like, your parents, your friends, other family members for anything. Going to your significant other is, like, a completely different thing and such. And, you know, you want to experience all those firsts with them and everything, even though it's like, <laughs> it's so freaking sweet. Then you also have TikTok, which TikTok for you page is just everywhere. And it's like, oh, hey, you want to see cute couples doing cute things? And you're just like, God, when will it be my time? When will it be my turn? That's the same thing we're on TikTok where it's like, you know how like every girl or guy finds a, a stray cat 
or a stray dog and stuff and they save them and so many people in the comments were like when will it be my time to find it that is me but with a, with a boyfriend like seriously i'm not like I, I used to be in the moment where i'm like oh my god i really want to have a boyfriend now i'm kind of in the moment of i am okay with being by myself and such um but still even though i'm like eh on speed dating would i try it sure maybe on a luck and whim I just gotta remember not to be, you know, uber drunk and such, or maybe have like a little buzz-esque. But seriously, once again, looking at all these male anime characters that I am so freaking in love with, they set the bar high and my standards are high because of them. That's the same thing with Disney prints. Disney is like, I, come on now, any d animated Disney man, Marvel guys, my, my standards are high, and I, I blame that on so many different things. And, and I feel like, will there ever be a guy that will be able to go into my standards? Fuck no, probably not. But you know what? Hey, a girl can dream. A woman can dream. <laughs> but seriously, this was so cute. I'm, I'm hoping that going into next week, even though you gave me the preview of Momo going out and Akane trying to contact her, and of course that didn't go the greatest, I hope that next week's episode... She, of course, wakes up in her room and he is there taking care of her and nurturing her because it would be so freaking cute. I'm just saying, so just do it, please, and thank you. And it'd be like almost paying homage to the first episode how, and how it ended and stuff. And she'd be like, oh my god, what the fuck happened? Like, you know, I, I saw you in my dreams, but did that actually happen? And then he'd just say, you know, yeah, that did happen. It'd be so freaking cute. Oh my god. Please let it happen. I'm begging you. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction to towards episode 9 of Yamada If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos if you like. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Saturday for episode 10. Bye, guys.